Hey everybody, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to create the kitchen cabinets, so the base cabinets, the wall cabinets. So what I need to do is, right now I'm in the floor plan layer, I'm going to change my layer to the kitchen layer. And then, if you look on page, what page am I on? I should have, I should have had that ready. So I'm on page 409 on figure 12.21. It kind of gives you the dimensions to where these cabinets need to be. So first thing is my, my base cabinet is gonna be 24 inches kind of off the wall here. So I'm gonna offset 24 from this wall out. And also I'm gonna do the same thing for this bottom wall here so let me grab this one over here click it i'll set it up i'm going to press enter i'm going to use the fillet to kind of square these off like so okay then what am i do um <clears throat> it says that um the edge of this cabinet over here is six foot one inches from this line so I'm going to offset again, six feet one, this line over. And I'm going to extend this one down. So I'm gonna extend it to here, that line down, right? I need a trimmer. Let me fill it this fillet here, here. So we got kind of a, our L-shaped kitchen cabinets there, looking good. Um, and then there's going to be a refrigerator area here, so it's going to be an empty spot. So I'm going to offset that three foot eight inches, three feet eight from this line here down. And then use the fillet. I can trim more fillet, whatever you want to do. Maybe I just like saying the word fillet. Anyway, so there's that little empty space for the refrigerator. Um, we're okay there for now. Let's see what I want to do. I want to offset this one foot three where my stove, my oven is going to be. So that line is down one foot three. Then I'm gonna offset that line that I just made, two foot six. That's gonna be the width of my oven. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. So now what I'm gonna do, I don't know what I'm doing there. Cancel out of that. I'm gonna go up to my layers here. When I'm gonna make a new layer that's not there um, I'm going to make a um, an upper cabinet layer. Make sure there's not already one there. So I'm going to make a new layer. I'm just going to call it wall cabinet. I'm going to be in capitals. Wall cabinets. And the reason I want to do that is, let me give it a color here. Let's make it yellow. I'm gonna give it a, because the line weight for the upper cabinet is gonna be, or the line type is gonna be dashed. So I hit okay there. Um, wall cabinets. I don't really need to change layer to wall cabinets because I'm gonna offset it, but let's go ahead and do it. I'm gonna double click it to make, to make that the current layer. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offset by 12 inches, cause those are gonna be the, kind of the thickness of those cabinets. So I'm just gonna offset the outside of this base cabinet back. Same thing here. And just kind of square this off with a fillet. And then I'm gonna press enter. I'm gonna extend 
uh, you see EX is what I want. Extend to here, press enter. I'm gonna extend that one all the way there. So now if you notice when I offset it, it, it kind of kept the properties of the, the line that I offset. What I wanna do is I'm going to select these two lines and I'm gonna change the layer to my upper, or to the wall canvas that I just made. Press enter. Now if you notice it doesn't, our lines don't really look dashed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in LT scale. And just so they show up to where you can kind of see it, I'm gonna type in, instead of one right now, I'll type in 12. So now you can kind of see their, now their dashed lines there. That kind of represents anything that's above the cut plane and our floor plan. Um, so I'm going to kind of, so obviously our canvas is going over our window, right? So we don't want that. So we're going to, we're going to create an opening here. And so let's see what are those dimensions going to be? Um, yeah. So it says from the, I'll draw a line here, kind of a construction line. I really didn't want that to be my wall cabinet. Let me erase that. I'm going to change my layer back to, um, change it to, I don't know, I probably did want to. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's change it to kitchen, I don't know. And that reminds me. So while I'm thinking about it, my kitchen is cyan and my cabinets here is red. So let me just go real quick to select these cabinets here. I'm not really worried about those lines because I'm going to get rid of those later on. But anyway, so I'm going to change the layer from that to kitchen. All right, so now I can, I'm going to draw a line from the edge of this window. It doesn't matter how far I go. And I'm going to offset that line by four inches. So my cabinet is going to kind of be out of the way here. Um, I'm going to do the same thing for this other side. So I'm going to draw another line here. I'm going to offset it four. I don't need these lines here. So I'm going to erase this. I'm going to erase that. So that's where our, our wall cabinets are going to be. So I'm going to use the trim TR, press enter twice. So I'm going to cut out our little cabinets here. Yeah, I'm just going to trim these back. And then I'm going to change the layer of these two lines. Those are going to be part of our upper cabinets here, wall cabinets. So now we can look at our window here. Our cabinets are not in the way. And let me take a look and see what we got. So our sink is going to go here. We'll do that later. We got our wall cabinets. Our oven is going to go here. Show you how to put that in later. And then we have an empty spot for our refrigerator. So yeah, just make sure that you have everything on the right layer. So our upper cabinets, wall cabinets, are they're on a layer by themselves. They're, they have hidden lines. Our cabinets are on a layer by themselves. And then for those, I just made these two lines so I'll know when I go to put my oven in where it's gonna be. So we'll do that in the next lesson. All right, make sure you save your stuff. We'll see you in the next one.